Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and this math treat is called Square Pairs. What we are going to try to do today is take a sequence of numbers like this. Here I have 1 through 15, and we're going to try and create a chain of numbers where every pair adds up to a square number. So just a quick refresh, what is a square number? Well, square numbers are the area of different squares where the sides are unit lengths. For example, 1 times 1, 1 is a square number. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 is a square number. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 is a square. 4 times 4 is 16, and 5 times 5 is 25. We could keep going. These are our square numbers. We want to pair these up to make these sums over here. So let me start. I can start with any number I want. I don't have to start with 1 in my chain, but uh, let's see. So let me just try 3. I'll start my chain with 3, and I'll see if I can connect this with another number so that the sum is a square number. Well, obviously, if I'm starting at 3, I can't make uh, 1. Could I make 4? Yeah, I could pair the 3 with 1 to make 4. Could I make 9? Yes, I could pair the 3 with 6 to make 9. Could I make 16? I could pair the 3 with 13 to make 16. Can I make 25? No, because I don't have a number big enough. I'd need 22, and it's not on this list yet. So I can choose any of those. So let me just try 3 with 6. So I've used the 3 and the 6. And keep in mind, once I've used a number, I cannot use it again. So those two are gone. I'm going to have 15 numbers, hopefully, in my chain, each one used exactly once. OK, what can I pair with 6? Well, I've already paired it with 3 to make 9. Now I can pair it with 10 to make 16. So let me do that. Now what can I pair with 10? I could pair it with 6, which I've already done. I can pair it with 15. So I could put 15 next. And I'm done with the 15. So now you see how this problem works, how this challenge works. You're trying to create this chain where every pair adds up to one of our square numbers. Keep going as long as you can. The goal is to use all 15 numbers. So this is going to lead us to several questions. Number one, is it even possible? Can you do it? Can you find a solution? Number two, if you find a solution, is there only one or are there multiple ways to order them so that you always get sums like this? How, how would you even know? And then you could try and extend. So Add some numbers. What Will this work with 1 through 16, 1 through 17, 1 through 18, and so on? Maybe work your way up to 30 and see what you can figure out. You could even try easier ones. Try 1 through 14, or 1 through 6, or 1 through 3, and see if you can get a chain to form. So I want you to explore these different kinds of chains. Remember, you're always trying to pair them up so they add up to a square number. You can only use each number once, and your goal is to try and use them all. I will say at the end, if you finish a chain, it doesn't need, the chain doesn't need to come back and connect up with the three. So the chain can have two distinct ends to it. That's totally fine. Actually, that makes me wonder now, is it possible to make a chain that goes all the way around like a loop? That would be pretty cool. I don't even know if that's possible. So now you have your math treat. You know what to do. Go ahead and explore, and as always, just have fun playing with the math.